Morning, hope you're well, hope you've had a good week. This is a tree. There are lots of trees in the New Forest, but some trees are greater than others. I'm going to take you to five of the best known trees in the New Forest. You could say they are celebrity trees. I'll get my bike. <laughs> We're at Wilverley Plain. Just got to walk the last bit because you can't cycle along here. Time to reveal the first celebrity tree. Ready? Ta da! Hmm. This apparently was the tree where they used to hang smugglers from. How did it get its name? Two theories. One is ridiculous, the other is slightly more plausible. The ridiculous one first. A smuggler was about to be hung. He got struck by lightning, blew all his clothes off. Imagine that. Oh, life, eh? Just when you think it couldn't get any worse. The other story is that it was shaped like a naked man. Like branches, legs, probably a bit in between for the thing. Mm. There's a naked man behind me. Feels wrong I'm eating a banana. So this is possibly the best known celebrity tree of the New Forest. It's the Nightwood Oak, also known as the Queen of the Forest. You can tell it's a celebrity tree because it's in a VIP area. Look, she, if she is a she, is more than 500 years old, although obviously it's rude to talk about a lady's age. Vital statistics of a 7.4 meter girth. Whoa, look at the girth on that. And also apparently a fantastic example of pollarding. To you and me, that's lopping off the top. Time to try and find the eagle oak. I can sense the next one could be trouble. Sneaky. Pretty tricky to find because it's kind of half covered on ground level by this tree here, which clearly is not an oak tree. There we go. That's really cool. Nearly missed it. Now the Eagle Oak gets its name from the fact that around about 1810, the last sea eagle in the New Forest was shot in its branches. If you've got the What Three Words app, I would go to Polka Popping Additives is where you need to go. Right, onwards. Let's find another celebrity tree. So this is the giant sequoia, or one of a pair of giant sequoias on Rhinefield Ornamental Drive. The one on the left, as you look from the road, is the tallest one, and that is 51 meters, and that makes it the tallest redwood in England, which is pretty impressive. It's an amazing tree.
final celebratory Bolton's bench. So how does Bolton's Bench get its name? Well, it could refer to the 18th century Duke of Bolton who was Lord Warden of the New Forest, but I prefer the other story. The story involving a rather nasty dragon that lived at Burley Beacon. Step forward one brave knight, Sir Morris de Barclay, and his two faithful hounds who took on the dragon and slayed it here on this very spot. This is where the dragon died. Unfortunately for Sir Morris, that dragon was cursed and evil voices plagued him, so much so that 30 days and 30 nights later, he came back to this very spot, lay down and died. His yew bow beside him and that yew bow grew into this. So there we go, five celebrities of the new forest. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm off home for a coffee. I'll see you soon. Bye.